Chapter 3, Mishnah 7. There are utensils that are made to be used with a coating, but whether their coating becomes tame depends on the type of coating used. The Mishnah gives an example of this. If a kettle is coated with thick clay, which sticks, so, which sticks well to the kettle, or with earthenware powder, which does not stick as well, and the kettle becomes tame, whatever foods or liquids touch the coating of thick clay becomes tame become tame, because this coating is considered part of the kettle, since it does not fall off. But whatever touches the coating made of powdered earthenware remains tahor, because it is not considered part of the kettle, since it eventually crumbles and falls off. The Mishnah discusses the law for utensils that were either fixed with an unsuitable material, or which were made entirely out of a material that is not really suitable for their purpose. If a hot water urn developed a hole that was big enough to make it tahor, and he repaired it by filling the hole with pitch. Rabbi Yossi rules that it is tahor because it cannot hold hot liquids and it does as it does cold liquids. Pitch begins to melt when it is exposed to heat and it is therefore not an effective plug for the hole in a hot water urn. The urn therefore continues to be considered a broken utensil and cannot become tame. And that is how Rabbi Yossi would rule concerning utensils made entirely from pitch. Since these cannot be used for holding hot things, they are not considered kalim, even though they were made to, to use for holding cold things. The mission discusses the status of metal utensils that were coated with pitch. If copper utensils were lined with pitch to preserve them and they become tame, food or liquids that touch the pitch are tahor. Since copper utensils are meant to be used over the fire, and pitch melts when exposed to heat, the pitch is not considered part of the utensil and does not become tame with it. However, if these metal utensils were designated to hold wine, and they were coated with pitch, the pitch is considered part of the utensil, since this lining was needed to protect the taste of the wine from being ruined by the metallic taste of the copper, the lining is considered part of the utensil and becomes tame along with it.